We just changed the oil on this car, but there's one thing left to do, and you can see right behind me. Those need to change to those. Yes, the carbon fiber tips are coming back, and these bad boys gotta go. They're a little beat up and whatnot, so I gotta clean them up, show them some TLC. I also got the trim off, because I ruined that. Like I said before, I ruined in that, that in that other video. The video where I cook food on this exhaust. If you haven't seen it, go browse the channel, subscribe, enable notifications, give it a like. If you haven't joined the squad, do it, do it. I'm wearing safety glasses right now, because I'm gonna get underneath the car and change these. And you guys can watch me and make fun of me, and I'm gonna give you a nice little rundown and some lovely, lovely Soul Performance products information and history on these beautiful made in Spain carbon fiber authentic dry carbon exhaust tips aren't you happy that I'm here alive and doing this for you first things first I need to get these gloves on and this Red Bull drink there we go mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. believe it's an eight millimeter ratchet that will pull that off and on the same side and then these twist out rather it be difficult to take them off than easy for them to fall off so there's a trade-off there a good one yep I had them on there tight Now I'm sure there's some type of trick to getting these out. It probably involves something with pushing that clamp. The thing is I'm an idiot and I'm just gonna pull. Oh, there we go. If you twist, twist it. My hair is probably out of control right now. Pull up and deck and up and back and then twist. And you should be able to get this loose. Yeah, that's the magic. Woo, oh. All right, we're off. Now would be a good time, opportune time, to pull these out and show you. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I love you guys. Oh. All right, so what we need to do now is get this off, I believe. This is the clamp I'm going to be using. What you're looking at are the straight cut, single wall, polished satin tips, and they have like this nice heated bronze, cured and matured copper, gold, ah, just a tone to it. It's not just pure silver. But then you have these, which are painted black, matte black, and they have uh, dry carbon shells on top of them, like a dry carbon shield. Sole painted on top. Well, actually, the sole is it inversely painted. Everything's painted around the sole logo. And that's just uh, the polished look. And these slide right on. These are the slash cut single wall, but they have a carbon shield on them. I like those more. I do like these a lot too, though. And we got one off, and I'm pretty sure these are gonna go back right on here. What we're trying to do is get this on top of this outer rim. It would help if I had a mallet, I just, I don't. This is relatively simple to get these on. Is once you take this uh, nut off, this comes loose. Just don't take it off, because it's harder to get that into that hole. And thread it in there, whereas what you can do, I wish I could show you what I'm doing, but I have to do it from this angle. I'm just pulling it a little bit, so obviously you see the space is open more, and then I'm going to get on there as needed, like that. Obviously it's still a little bit different, but there we go, we're in. Now we're on, and that's that. And now we can get this on, and this is gonna be used on the right side, so we're gonna slide this in there. I love it, I love it. Just gotta get this second one on, then we can straighten them up, align them, see how we wanna get them. This one was good, good angle. I, that's just, I got lucky. It, it's kinda hooked in here so it doesn't move. Something to keep in mind because I literally just did it. You wanna make sure these are accessible. So obviously don't have this on this way because it's gonna be more difficult to reach than if you have it facing out that way. Just something to keep in mind for when you're putting these on. Dangle that and get this in position so we can that went on too easy. Uh. And this is literally the bottom point. That's what we have a finished product for. I'm gonna hop in my car because it's running right now just so you don't hear me, well, hear the car. Ugh. Wanted to finish this video up in here. Definitely my least favorite thing to do ever is to change exhaust tips just because it is a very meticulous job and I hate when things aren't like perfectly even and they're very 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 close there's just one small thing that throws me off 
but they're close. Hopefully driving, they're, they're tight enough. Hopefully driving, they won't move around and bounce around and whatnot. But that's all it is. 10 millimeter socket. I think I said eight, but it's a 10 millimeter nut that you have to use to uh, loosen that up and whatnot. And that's really, it's really that simple. I was going to make this hopefully a quick video for you all. That is what it is. You see what the carbon tips look like. They used to be on the car before. The initial tips were the straight cut, single wall, just stainless tips, polished. I love the carbon. The carbon looks so cool. It's, it's awesome. Let me know what you think below. Comment down below. I will see you all later. It is Thursday. The call out will be on Saturday. So if anyone's going to be at the call out, we'll see you there. I'm going to try to get this video posted actually after the call out, to be honest. So we're going to be about a day back, a few days back. Try to get this posted on Sunday, maybe Sunday night for you guys because I have a ton of content coming. A ton. So. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more Porsche content, supercar content, and everything else of the sorts and whatnot. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your day, night, evening, whatever. Good morning, good night, ciao, yola, blah, 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 whatever. I will catch you later.